Hey guys, welcome to the Armour 3 Alpha. Yes, it was released today, um, March 6th in Australia, at least. Probably March 5th in America. Um, I'm glad to see it out. I didn't really play too much of Armour 2. Um, I, I mean, I did play Wasteland mod and also DayZ, but... Um, I, and I also did play some of the original Armour 2 as well, but... Um, not not as much as I would have liked to, but I thought I'd get the Armor 3 Alpha and kind of jump on board early and kind of be one of the earlier players to play it, go right from the Alpha straight until the, uh, and play all the way until the real game. So, um, yeah, it came out today. It was, uh, hold on, let me have a quick look. I think it was only 32 bucks, 32.99 US, um, on Steam for the basic Alpha, and then you get the Deluxe Digital Edition, which is also the Alpha for $50. You do get some features with it, um, like, uh, let me read them out to you. Alpha Access, be one of the first to play the Alpha 3, uh, Armor 3, and contribute to it, um, to its development by providing feedback. Um, you get three Alpha Light invites, uh, which you get, um, which are available on March 14th, so they're not available yet. And you also get, um, access to the Armor 3 beta, and you get the Steam version of Armor 3 when it comes out, and that's for $32.99 US, so... A hell of an investment because when the game comes out, it'll probably be more expensive than thirty-two ninety-nine. So, um, and if you get the deluxe edition, you get like the soundtrack and um, more maps and stuff like that. And so that's pretty cool. I thought that was uh, you know get to choose. So I just got the 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 normal one. I didn't think I'd go for the deluxe edition. I don't don't really need to. But um, so far what you have the access to is you have multiplayer. There's already wasteland maps, which is pretty cool. Um, I've already played some co-op, me and JD, um, we recorded some um, co-op, we did a mission, but the thing is, is my recording failed, so uh, I don't have that for you, but I will link you to his video when that's up, we will be doing um, some co-op games and multiplayer and wasteland with the Armor 3 engine. And it'll be awesome. So definitely, we'll definitely keep an eye out on that. But yeah, this is just the um, the single player first mission is just infantry to kind of learn how to take orders. This was the third time I played it. The first time there was a bug that I couldn't fix, um, and then the second time I just said yeah, I don't know what happened there either. But um, oh wait, the first time I completed it, the second time there was a glitch, and then the third time I recorded it. So I have done this a few times, but there's still a few moments of confusion. But it is the alpha, so it has an excuse. Um, since this is single player, I didn't really notice anything major, like I got caught on a rock or two and um, stuff like that. But overall, the single player is pretty spot on. There were some issues in the co-op, um, like there was this one time where I got out of the vehicle... Um, and I was like 100 or 200 meters away from the vehicle stuck in the ground. I couldn't do anything. Um, and then I took my night vision off and it, I was fine. So that was a really weird glitch and that took me about three minutes to figure out who would have known that all I had to do was take off the night vision and it would have been fixed. But um, it was heaps of fun. It took us about an hour to complete the first mission. Um, and we will be putting up more of that. So, yeah, you'll probably see, you know, quite a few videos of Armor 3 from us. And also um, the DayZ standalone. So we're not just going to stick with Armor 3. We'll be doing everything that kind of has to do with Armor in the past. Um, but, yeah, DayZ standalone. That'll be awesome. But, yeah, back to Armor 3. Um, Right off the bat, I was very impressed by the graphics. You know, I've got a pretty great computer. Um, I only recorded in 720, um, or 1280 by 720, because, you know, recording 10 minutes is like, you know, quite a few gig, depending, yeah, you know, it's about 8 gig for just 10 minutes. So recording for an hour, you know, I fill up my computer pretty fast. That's why I don't record to the full capabilities. But you can kind of, I think you should be able to tell from this video if you're watching it. And even in four, um, 480, you should be able to get the rough idea that this game is actually quite beautiful. Um, some of the new features have added uh, compared to, you know, like I said, I can only compare it to the Wasteland and DayZ mods that I've played on Armor 2. But um, now you hold down Shift to Sprint. Um, 
you get up and down by pressing X instead of pressing Z, X, and C. So, uh, you know, they've, they've added, they've, they've tweaked it around, obviously, to people's feedback, and it, and it works. It feels a lot better, you know, having to press shift to sprint feels a lot better than um, double tapping the W button so you can sprint. So, I'm glad they have changed a few things. Obviously, um, they had a lot of game testers for um, uh, two, and they these are the improvements. Um... Also, it looks like they've got better uh, gear layouts and stuff like that, and they felt pretty great. And yeah, the night vision that looks superb. Like I put it on, I won't put it on in this map, but um, I put it on and it just looked ten times better than it did on Armor Two. And this is all alpha, so I mean, I'm pretty impressed. Um, when the last alpha I played was the Battlefield Three alpha. Um, even though they called it a beta, it was definitely an alpha, you could tell. Um, and from that, you know, it was so bad, it was so poor, and they improved on it so much from the time that it was an alpha, even beta, um, to them when it was released. So, if this is what we're seeing already, then this game is going to be amazing by the time they actually release it and fix all the bugs. Um, JD was saying that he had a few issues, like he was climbing on a box or something, and he just went flying. So, I mean, you're going to find those things, even in games that aren't even in Alpha, like even like Halo, for example, you get all those type of glitches where you go flying in the air for no reason. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to playing this more, especially multiplayer. I tried to join a few multiplayer sessions, but... I ended up eating dinner anyway <laughs> instead. Um, no, but I'll definitely be getting around to that. I'll probably do some more um, Let's Plays on other missions. This mission was only nine minutes or so uh, to complete altogether. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to edit anything. I'll just put the whole thing in. This bit here is a little confusing. Like, you have to wait. What you, basically, what you have to do is you have to go to this mountain and wait for them to spot the spotters. And the, the, as you can see, they're spotting them right now. So I'm just up here waiting, waiting, waiting. And they're at that, at that, that rock right there. Um, <laughs> I can't see them yet, so obviously they just appear out of nowhere, but I was waiting for them. Um, but yeah, you know, I'll be doing more of these. I'll probably do quite a few single play ones, but I'll definitely be doing a lot of co-op ones with JD as well. We do have some other things we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing some Trine 2 Let's Plays. Um, we're going to continue doing our DayZ Let's Plays. We are on a little bit of a hiatus at the moment because we can't find a proper server. There's the snipers there. Finally found them. Well, the spotters. Can't find a, um, a proper... DayZ server, but we'll get we'll get around to it. Another thing is that like um, the killing in this game feels really good. Like obviously, just then I was shooting that guy, and I felt like I should have been killing him. But after I did kill him, I felt very happy with myself, honestly. But um, yeah, you know this game very cool so far. I'm very glad I picked it up. I wasn't going to because you know I'm mainly a DayZ player, and because DayZ will pretty much have nothing to do with Armor 3, like you won't need Armor 3 to play DayZ, I wasn't going to ever get Armor 3, but it looks really, it looked really impressive, like all the little features I'd seen of it, so I thought I might as well. Anyway, this is, the video is pretty much over, um, if you have any suggestions of what kind of Armor 3 stuff we can do, or, um, you know, or if you have any thoughts about the Armor 3 uh, game itself, the beta, uh, the alpha, if you've played it, let us know. If you want, if you want to play with us, uh, leave a comment. Um, America or Australia, because JD is American, I'm Australian, so be kind of uh, find servers that are halfway through. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, until next time, see ya.